talk is done. It is simply time to fight. And Xander lands the hook as he's done so many times. Ali's a smart fighter. And in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. Can you hear the people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it. He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. Unable to land clean by Muhammad Ali. Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Here's the moment here to see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties he does. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, takes a miss, and he comes right back. Holyfield's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. So we're underway here, round number one. Such a distinct advantage as to who the passer guy is, that he's got the speed. How does the opponent have to deal with that? Well, it's not just the hand speed, it's the foot speed. And as far as that goes, I think the opponent needs to cut the ring down a little bit. You know, be like a linebacker in football. Don't follow him around. He just move parallel, shrink that ring. Nice two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. A solid true uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Let's see some more head movement. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged, because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head, he's not to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body. But the body's not moving. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Nice block by Evander Holyfield. Side to side, move your head. You see what happens when he commits to the upper side. Look at that, great work there. Good, solid hook from Evander Holyfield. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Fires right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. What impact from that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Right there. I love that block by Evander Holyfield. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body. And then that right hand. Gets rid of that effort. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on the stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens to him. You know, you his back like that, you have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Ali is swinging and missing like he's at the bat right there. That one is nowhere near his opponent. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Solid right hand and line that exchange. Ali's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent.
opponent's got to be wondering how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches. Once it's about the combination, he's not getting off. Well targeted, one, two by Evander Holyfield. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Well placed, Jack Straight. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Muhammad Ali. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. just the busier guy taking the fight. He's a three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern though, so I have one little concern. What's that? There. Well, is he winning the battles, but maybe gonna lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Evander uh, Holyfield's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch with that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to it. They're getting through this. And straight right, unable to connect. Right back at him with a left hand. Comes over that hook upstairs. Halfway through round number four. Opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counter punch opportunities because he got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Scores well to the head with the right hand. There's the old one two coming after him.
Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by a man. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control, man, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Did you see that? Ali is down and his opponent put him there with a precision. for the other guy because sometimes when you score a knockdown you start to think it's going to be an easy night and you forget what you knew when you came in that it wasn't going to be an easy night you're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool set and it's important to remember that landing a two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali by Muhammad Ali. Ali's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was not down early, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Looking to the body. Halfway through round six. Off target with that hook. Big left hand from Evander Holyfield. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Evander Holyfield. Ali's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. <laughs> position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there and that's land a good solid jab Ali's just punching air that time his opponent was able to get out of the way sharp three punches landing by Muhammad Ali he never knew it was coming look at how wide open he was for that hook Benefit and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. Ali's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He's knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out of his eyes, don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on it. More than one punch downstairs, that could be damaging. Solid effort 
by Muhammad Ali. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Unable to score with the hook. A shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand score. Okay, let's go. Ali's combination punching is working well here. One, two, one, two. And the round comes to an end. Looking good. He's coming. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. So here we are, Teddy, at the start of round number eight. You got him up slightly, but this reminds me of like a classic distance, like the Kentucky Derby. Can they get the distance? Can they have something left in the stretch run? That's what it's going to decide who can close best. Yeah, mostly the jockey now, he's not going to hand ride him. He's going to go to that whip because he's not going to take a chance that the other horses aren't going to climb up, aren't going to game on. What an excellent two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Great pitcher, great Maddox. The single ball. Boy, it went down quick. 